Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 16 of Let's Play Legend of Lagaya, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, if you're noticing already, and you're pro and if you're deaf, you're probably not, then why are you here? Well, is that the overworld has new music. Seems a little peaceful and a lot less dreary. So yeah, I think we should head for the ancient wind cave now. Because we need to get to Sabuka's Islands. Oh, it seems a bit different, like it's actually brighter. I'm guessing there's no battles either. Like there's no mist hanging around. And it's populated. How do you do? I am the old wizard. Now that the mist has amazingly disappeared, I was just waiting for a customer. Welcome to my shop. I have everything and anything. Come on into the back. Everything, eh? Let's put that to the test. Alright, let's see what you got. Well, you don't exactly have everything then, now do ya? You just have virtually the same crap that was in the monastery, except for Fighter Claw, that's new. And some new armor. Ooh, let's see, I think I should focus on defense first rather than attack. And it looks like it's gonna be for Noah. Not that I'm one to complain, because she deserves better. Equip it. And green clip. That should be for upper defense. There. Now let's sell the old armor. Actually, I never even used that Guardian Water yet. I forgot about that. Battle Knife I can sell. A Fighting Robe I can sell. Guardian Clip I can sell. That means I might be able to buy one more item. Will I? Well, I can't buy the Fighter Claw, unfortunately. Ah, the Tempest Shoes I can buy. There, that's much better. But now I'm near broke. And all I'm gonna get back for these electric shoes is 280. That's not gonna help me much. Man, this stuff is so expensive. It's crazy. Yes, goodbye to you too. You clean me right out. Oh yeah, I forgot that guardian water. Okay, who needs the defense the most? At this point, it looks like Vaughn. Yep, I'm gonna go with Vaughn. Yeah, is there anything in these barrels? No, I don't want to buy anything. Ooh, wisdom water. Okay, I think I'll use that. Increases intelligence. Who needs it the most? Obviously, it's Noah. There, that should increase your magic attack and defense. Ooh, what's this lever do? I don't know what it is, but I'm going to push it anyway. Because RPG logic. And it just opened a door. Great. No, really, it's great. Sorry if I don't sound very enthusiastic, but I got a silver compass. Now, what does it do? Okay, silver compass decreases the rate of being ambushed by the enemy. Okay, it doesn't really lower enemy encounters, it just means you're less likely to be hit from behind. That's a nice piece of equipment, I think I'll wear it. Too bad I didn't find anything that lowers the encounter rate. That would be great. Oh well. I guess we'll have to wait for that blessing. If it's there at all. Then again, I never finished this game, so I wouldn't really know what everything does. Ah, oh, the door of light. Good to get another one. Now let's press onward. I'll go this way. Okay, at least this cave has no monsters, therefore it's not going to take like 37 hours to go through. I know, it's hyperbole, but it feels that way when you got to take a few steps and the battles take like a minute or two long. That's the way it is. Well, my first customer is in 10 years. 
I'm so happy. I am called the Old Water Witch. I've been in business here for 40 years. You haven't retired yet? But it's been 10 years since I've had any customers. I'm so happy now. Well, come on in. I want a store in an inn. You must be tired. Come along and I'll get you a room for the night. Yeah, I'll spend the night. Well, enjoy your stay. I will. Okay, obviously, I don't think my dream was supposed to be like this. Oh, there we go. Vaughn. Noah. Woohoo! Where are we? We may be dreaming. Perhaps. But if this is a dream, it feels different from an ordinary dream. What's the matter? I hear a voice! Who is it? My mother! It sounds like my mother! Noah, I am not your mother. My name is Hari. I inhabit a world between the dream world and the human world. I have a message for those in the human world and who are with the Ross Seru. They are the true words of Rem. Go to Octem, the ancient yet eternal city for far away in the heart of Sabukas. There, compassionate human beings will learn the true meaning of all dreams. You know, you can just buy a book of dreams. I'm sure they're all over, all over bookstores everywhere. Hari. Hari's gonna tell us what our dreams mean. And I'm seeing that green cloud again. I don't think that's supposed to originally happen, but it's happening now. You okay, man? Fun. I had that dream again. I guess we should find Hari. Yeah, you're right, Fun. I'm always right. I got blue hair. That means I'm automatically right about everything all the time. Do you dream a lot? Yes. Oh, good. I dream a lot, too. Dreams tell you about your future, you know. Do you want to learn how to tell the future from your dreams? You know, in real life, I'm not really a sound sleeper. As a result, I practically have two or three dreams meshed together to create one pseudo-dream, and then I just wake up. Completely tired. I knew it! I knew you were interested in dreams! Somewhere on the Sabukas Islands is a person who lives in a dream world. His name is Hari. Hari? Hari? I know about Hari! Can Hari really tell you what a dream means? My grandma told me so. He's an Octam! Hari's an Octam, right? I'm sorry. I don't know much about the outside world. What are you sad about? Oh, Sigh! Exclamation point! Fun, I made up my mind. I'm gonna look for Hari. Fun, will you help me find Hari? Uh, for redhead, anything. Good, I'm so happy. Thank you, Fun. Yes, yeah, she was showing that our arm flapping happy. When you get out of the cave, go northwest. Then you'll come to the town of Jeremy. I've heard it was a beautiful town famous for an amazing tree and the sky gardens, but now, who knows? Amazing tree? Would that be the Genesis tree? The old woman! She's a nice person, don't you think? Yes. We were orphans, but she was kind enough to raise us. The Spookus Islands to the north are covered by the mist. Be sure to have everything you need. Okay. I would, but I'm broke. I'll pick up the magic water. Increases MP by 8. Oh, Noah definitely needs it the most. Okay, this side of the counter for the inn, this side for items. At least she sells accessories. Okay, Golden Compass increases allies' rate of attacking first. 
Now, obviously, I don't have enough for anything except for these three items. And I got plenty of those already. So yeah, you get Scarlet Jewel and Azure Jewel, the same kind of jewels that you get in Rim Elm through the uh, shop, if you got the Platinum card. The only thing that's different is the Golden Compass. Other than that, you pretty much get everything you've seen before. No. No, no! I was hitting, like, Circle, and for some reason you have to go to No and hit X. Yes, I'll come again eventually. Is there anything hidden? Nope. Customers! Wait, don't go yet! Why not? You're my first customers in a long time! I can't let you go away empty-handed! Vaughn now has two doors of wind! Wait, we got a door of light, but what's a door of wind? A witch? What is this? What? You don't know about the doors of wind? Let's see, where do I start? It's an item that lets you fly anytime to a town you visited at least once. Whoa, that's awesome! You can't use it in caves or inside a town, but... Hey, 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 game? Game, don't do this, this to me. Many items made up of the Sabukas Islands. Use the wind door to get around there. Thank you for your kindness. Oh, don't mention it. Well, good luck to you. Luck is for losers, as CM Punk would say. But he says a lot of things. Many of them pipe bombs. Only not as much recently. Said but true. That's what happens when you sign a new contract and you're limited to PG. Okay, so this is the Sabuka's Islands. As you can see, this is the ancient water cave. Cross this bridge to get to Jeremy. There's another town over there. Looks like some kind of tower or bridge. Either way, we see like a lot of these structures around the rivers. Actually, a lot of these structures on the land, too. Okay, looks like some kind of forest. What's over on this island? Oh, it doesn't look like much. Either way, we're gonna have to get used to this place. We're gonna be here for a while. Sadly, it's full of mist. And we get the dreadful music again. So depressing, isn't it? Oh, here's some new enemies! Hell's Trigger and Ogre. Whoever thought an ostrich would be so dangerous now? I think we should go for that first. Oh, look at those new pants! Those are so sexy on you! Yeah, I like them so much. They're like camo, baby. Oh, good, we took it out in one combo. Like this! <laughs> Kick it right in the junk. Ooh, Shrek is angry now. Power charge! Ooh, we better take it out this turn. Otherwise, we're in trouble. We got camel pants, babe, now. Hey, with those pants, you can be as happy as you want. Yeah. And it looks like that top is a dragon emblem, too. Even better. And to think, I used to make fun of guys who would ogle over anime girls. So, this is Jeremy, eh? Fun! It's mist! Everyone's turned into monsters in the mist! You don't say! 
Noah, it's a Genesis tree. I sense a Genesis tree. That means we can save this town if we revive that Genesis tree. I sense that the Genesis tree is somewhere in town. Someplace high up. Must be that tower over there. How exciting! I want to go! I want to go to the high place! Game, don't do this again! Oh, brother. Hmm. Well, we could go in there and take care of things now. But, I think it's best we, like, do a little bit more exploring. I guess I see another town over there. I can't believe I was never noticed until now, but you can save in the overworld. I mean, I've noticed before, I just never used it until now. Maybe we should check out that town where the windmill is to. Plus, it would give us plenty of time to see the new enemies and make some more money. So how far away from that town? Okay, cross the bridge, go north, cross another bridge, and there you go. Not to mention we want to go back to Jeremy, we'll just use a door of wind. Up oh, here's another new enemy, Death Wings. Let's see what's so deathly about it, Zenwar. And take care of the ogre. You too. <laughs> Lucky Zenwar might target the ogre too. Okay, it probably won't now because the death means moved. Hey, use it anyway. Look for the hammer. Bring the hammer down. And the death wings is well dead. Things have been flipped permanently. And the Olga is down. Yeah, are you right? Are you poisoned or something? Oh, of course you're poisoned. But there were that wears off. So in other words, these guys are a bit tougher than Pokemon. When Pokemon are poisoned, they're poisoned for good until you use like an I item or go to Pokemon Center. Or if they faint and you bring them back. But where the fun be in that? Oh, here's two new enemies! Poison Worm and Killer Bison. These are going all out with the enemies. I'm guessing you don't really see these enemies until you cross that bridge over to the next village. That would make a lot of sense. Why don't you use theater? <laughs> Aww. Couldn't even get a turn. Oh, oh, you want a piece now? Time to get electrified. I have the most awkward boner right now. And it's aimed at you. Right, so far so good. New enemies haven't been much of a threat. As long as you've been leveling properly, nothing will be a threat. Yeah, this town has windmills. Good to know they don't rely on coal. Ah, so this is Vidna. Before the mist came, there were plenty of tourists in town, and I was a tour guide. If you want, I'll give you guys a tour. How about it? Uh, sure. Let's see, Vidna. Okay. A tour of Vidna it is. I'll do it for 100 gold. But you gotta pay cash, okay? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You said there was money involved? Screw that. Hey, don't think you can hear my stories for free. I'm a professional tour guide. Giving free tours goes against my professional ethics. What about your moral ethics? Well, what do you know? You're my first customer since the mist came. Yeah, then why aren't you gonna sell me anything? Before the mist came, this was the world's best resort area. We had visitors from all over. Pepe lives behind the hot spring. He came with his mother and got stuck here. 
Really? He came with his mom, eh? Such a mama's boy. Then again, I love my mother, so I can't really say much. Oh, you got lots of tools? Great! Ooh, a metal ring! Twelve thousand dollars! I hope somebody firebombs you. At least we're gonna buy doors of wind here. I already got two, so I think that's gonna be enough. Thank you, come again! I don't think I can afford to. Before the mist came, I would buy lots of healing leaves and travel around myself. Oh, guess you can't do that anymore, eh? Ten healing leaves! I feel like such a criminal. But I didn't download a song, so nobody cares. In high power, at least. Haha. <laughs> Who cares if you steal from the elderly? Okay, I think I'm gonna come to this town later. The only reason I came here was to visit it at least once, therefore I have some place to go whenever I use Door of Wind. Speaking of the Door of Wind, I'm gonna use at least one. You can pretty much go anywhere, which is pretty nice. Oh, this is called the Ancient Water Cave. Apparently Ancient Wind Cave and Ancient Water Cave are connected. So I'll stop the video right here. Next part I'll meet you back in Jeremy to take care of business. See ya, everybody.